So occasionally you have those games, those games that are just so epic and so amazing that no matter how stupid they may seem later, like they will always just hold this epic memory in your childhood of these adventures and etc. Now, I love these old games, and I especially love fan remakes of them, but then occasionally you have a bad seed, and I'm talking about Xanda. Now, if you have never heard of Xanda, I recently just found it on the iOS, um, meaning it's an iPod app. Um, Xanda the Link Swords. I was looking up for I was looking up Zelda things like Zelda themed apps because they have Final Fantasy apps. So I was like, oh, why the hell not? Would they, you know, why wouldn't they have a Zelda one? So um, and when you look up Zelda in iOS, you get like Orcarina, and then you get like all these different RPGs that are somehow linked to Zelda in some way, some shape or some form. And then of course, like I said, you had Xanda, and it only had like a one and a half star rating, and so I really couldn't expect much, you know, considering, but at the same time, you know, when it comes to fan-made games, you're kind of, you know, betting 50-50, you know, it's like you're either really, really, really gonna love it, and you're gonna be like, oh my god, why isn't this a real full-length game, or you're gonna hate it and be like, well, that just wasted, like, however many minutes or hours of my life. And Xanda was one of those that I was like, okay, this is a knockoff, but I could, I could give it a chance, you know? And, um, I mean, it, it, it's like Pokemon. You have Pokemon Generations, and it's, like, really freaking awesome. And then you have Pokemon 3D, and I wasn't a big fan of it. You have Pokemon MMO, and that was awesome, and those are all fan-made things. Um, but Xanda, like, it, it basically, you know, it looks like a really, really cheap, chibi version of freaking the Zelda games, and at first you start out, and you've got your basic controls, you've got your control pad, you've got your action button, you've got your hearts, and you have to go and find your sword, and in order to get your sword, you have to talk to the princess Xanda, and you have to, you know, type in her name right, you can even name your hero, but like, as far as I've seen, like, the game does not expand outside of this field area. And in order to do new quests, you actually have to pay gold pieces in order for the person to give you the quest so you can go on the quest, and then you don't even get anything for completing the quest. So basically, you're pay paying gold pieces to go on these quests which don't offer you any level ups as far as I've seen, you don't get anything from them, you don't get any better equipment, and so in a sense it's just it's all very frustrating. And like I said, you're just, you're locked on this little, little island, you know, and, like, occasionally over time, more monsters show up, but I guess your sword disappears? Like, I guess your sword disappears and, like, a whole bunch of different stuff. So, it, it's just one of those games that just really just starts to, like, you want to give it a chance, and then you give it a chance, and then as you're playing it, you are ten times more disappointed than what you originally thought you were, because seeing one and a half stars, you, you know you're not supposed to expect much, but sometimes that can just be based on graphics, sometimes that can be based on bugs. Like, I lost all my heart pieces first time playing this, and honestly, like, I don't even think I died. I don't even think there was a game over. I actually ended up completing the quest that I was supposed to be doing, and like, I thought that I would die if I got hit hit again, so I spent 12 gold pieces to go into a shepherd's house so I could get the hearts, or go into his yard so I could get the hearts. But, like, as far as I've seen, you can't walk into buildings, you know, you can only talk to people, but like I said, you have to pay them so that they'll actually t give you a quest, which means talk to you in general. And... Uh, I don't know, and I'm guessing, like, more people show up over time, same as coins might regenerate over time, but it's one of those games where it's like... It could have had so much potential. It could have been, like, a full-length game. It could have had its own, like, little thing going, its own little adventure, its own little franchise or whatever. Yeah, it's a really cheesy ripoff, but at the same time, like, people could really love this game if the effort was put into it. So, yeah. Like, I just, I don't know, I've been in a Zelda craze lately, so this is just kind of a, hey, y'all, how are you doing, kind of rant video. But, yeah, so this is just my, my personal opinion. Um, yeah, don't, don't pick up Xanda. It, it's, it's not worth your time. Trust me. But, yeah. Anyways, 
Um, sorry, I lost track of thought. And, like, I think one of the women looks like Pippi Longstockings. But, um, but yeah, so definitely don't pick up Xanda. Um, but, no, what I was getting to is fan remakes. I'm always open and up for playing fan remakes. I know that they were doing a um, 3D version of Link's Awakening at one point, but it never kind of became a real game. So here's my request to you. If you have a fan-made game based off of like Zelda or Mario or something that you would really like me to play, please leave a link in the comment below um, with the area where I could find it. Please tell me how to download it and play it, obviously. And I would, I would really like to try some new things out, you know, ROMs or hacks or anything. Um, just not Pokemon My Ass version, like please. Um, but yeah, seriously, any fan remakes that you may have, or that you may know of, or fan remakes that you, like, really like, or you think you might enjoy watching, please leave those in the comment below. I swear I will get through all of them, and I will try and play all of them in a timely manner. But yeah, I just want to try something new, and I really just want to see what the fans can do out there. Thanks, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Samutari out.